Welcome, this is Tuesday morning. Welcome to Good Morning, Anambra. <laughs> My name is C. Jamma Uche, how are you? Sure, we didn't keep you waiting. Of course, we've been rolling a whole lot of things, the news and all those uh, mini, mini documentaries coming your way. Thank you for joining us. I am E. Jamma Uche. Well, on our lineup this morning, we'll have newspaper review for you, so you do stand by. Okay, welcome again. Uh, from our website this morning, Anambra State Government debunks reports insinuating Saludo ordered removal of Labour Party billboards. A sports minister, Dare, congratulates Okoa on election as president of African Athletics Region, Region 2, West Africa. And then police operators snapped nine suspects for vandalizing electricity power line. Power line mast in Oba, Idemili South, Council area. These are many more of the stories coming from our website this morning. As you must have uh, heard from our news, all these um, making the rounds. Okay, for once of time, let's venture into the papers. And our first paper this morning is the Nation newspaper. Nation newspaper. Banner headline here says APC, PCC, six articles probe for fraud within 72 hours. Let's look at the writers there. Petitions EFCC, ICPC, uh, CDB, SVP on feet to contest. PDP fires back. Okay, this is what uh, we'll keep hearing these days. Uh, car attacks and counter attacks going back and forth. Okay, up. That's on top of the name templates of the, the, of the nation newspaper. Saludos Shati proposals. Please Canus family IPOB. And then slain Catholic priest survived Madela bombing, kidnapping, and now couldn't survive this. Very, very unfortunate. Then just uh, below the name templates, I have this one that said, World Economic Forum predicts global recession. Interest rates hike. Mm -hmm. And finally from here, why new revenue formula plan can't work? This one is coming from RMAFC. That's all coming from the Nation newspaper. Let's look at the Punch newspaper now. Okay, the Punch newspaper. Let's start from the stories on top of the name template. Oil blocks licensing to end in April. Federal government is saying this. Oil blocks licensing to end in April. And then um, other stories still on the, on the top of the name template of the Punch newspaper. Inflation drops slightly. Production costs remain high. And then states, local governments meet RMAFC wants higher revenue. But the banner headline from this paper, that's the Punch newspaper, says a Mayfile DSS running battle passed as CBN governor resumes. A Mayfile DSS running battle passed as CBN governor resumes. Let's look at the writers there. Confusion as Secret Service debunks claims of arrest. And then governor vows to work under president's direction. The final writer there said, MFLE will chair next MPC meeting spokesperson. Okay, and down here I have DPO warned us hours before Van D killed lawyer. Inspector is saying this. DPO warned us hours before Van D killed lawyer. ASU may sue federal government over withheld salaries. Is uh, Another story coming from the Punch newspaper, ASU may sue federal government over withheld salaries. And then uh, here, infidelity, reverse man, strangles, says lover, ablaze. Wow. 
and then uh, INEC, INEC office, INEC office attackers kill policemen, gas defense facilities. This is so serious. I don't understand what's going on. You don't want us to have this election. Why all these incident attacks on INEC facilities? It's a very disheartening one. Okay, we'll move over to Daily Trust. That's a newspaper. That's more. And on the front page of the Daily Trust, we have a Mayfield resumes amid fear of arrest. And then uh, it has some writers accompany that story. And the first one says, DSS denies invading CBN. And then tension over arrest unhealthy for economy. This one is coming from the experts. Inflation drops to 21.34%. MPC missed next week. Oh, well. Oh, this issue of arrest, I think we heard uh, yesterday we are some of the lawyers uh, the senior advocate of Nigeria are saying that uh, there is a court injunction deterring uh, the DSS from arresting the Mefeli, and some of us are still asking what is his offense. Okay. Other stories just below the name template of the Daily Trust are with dismantle structures holding Nigeria down. This one is coming from Obi as he spoke at the Chatham House yesterday. How customs lost 135 billion naira to NDDC in waivers. And then 18 died in KB truck accident. Too bad. Okay, down here, so coming from the Daily Trust, Tinubu Atiku trade west over alleged corruption and conviction. Mm. Sports Ministry investigates NSF medals table pardon. And 25 million Nigerians risk hunger in 2023, United Nations reports. This report needs to be held because um, I think you have had enough of this hunger. Bandi scale tree abducts local government boss, 14 others in Castina, Kaduna. It is everywhere. What is going on? Is Nigeria going out of extinction with this kind of violence everywhere. Okay, Delhi Independence is our next paper this morning. Delhi Independence. We will dismantle, okay, Chatham House. We will dismantle inefficiency, transactional policies. OB, we will, Chatham House, we will dismantle inefficiency and transactional policies. Coming from OB, as he spoke at Chatham House yesterday. Okay, let's look at the riders. Enthrone competence, capability for talents, ideas to flourish. And then the second rider there says, there will be no sacred cows in his government. Wow. Okay. Let's look at other stories from the Daily Independent Nigeria Air. AON challenges Board of Trustees members over counter suits. With a rider there, giving one week to study federal government's application on transfer of case. Query, Kogi gives Ohinoi 48 hours to resubmit a response with proper title. And then government attack Enugu INEC office kill policeman. Very, very unfortunate. Imo government denies hand of burning of Ugo Chinyere's house and vehicles. Imo government denies hand in burning of Ugo Chinyere's houses and vehicles. I wonder what actually is going on in Imo. We saw that as it trended yesterday, or was it a day after, when a whole family was brought down. I don't really understand what's going on here. Atiku Tinubu campaigns trade ways over who steps down. <laughs> Atiku Tinubu campaigns trade ways over who steps down with some riders there. APC asked EFCC, ICPC to arrest Atiku over corruption allegations. And then PDP alleges Tinubu has been convicted, fined for narcotic tra trafficking. You know, in civilized world, this couldn't be going through, I'm telling you. All these allegations would have been investigated and the corporates punished instead of coming here to disturb our peace with all these things that are coming out. Okay, 
Nigerian Tribune is our next paper this morning. Nigeria has become a joke. All these things are just making me laugh like seriously. All right, on top of the name template, 25 million Nigerians risk food insecurity this year. And that report is coming from, uh, okay, it's just a report. Okay, but I think we have seen it before. Okay, now CBN Governor MFL is resumed duty after annual leave is another story on top of the name template. But below the name template, that's the banner headline now, at Chatham House, will be vows to tackle oil theft, debt servicing, and unemployment. Okay. Again, Tinubu article fights dirty. Nigerians worse off today than in 2015. Article is saying that with a writer says, this is Nigeria's last chance at getting it right. Mm. Okay, query, Kogi government gives, okay, we have seen that story. Government attack, INEC office, we have seen that story. Placement, please, not guilty for alleged murder of Bolan Le, okay. IPOB rejects Soludo's offer, says, stage for Kano's shorty has passed. All right. That's all coming from the Tribune. Uh, the Daily Sun is a newspaper. And beside the name template of the Daily Sun, Atiku Tinubu in fresh world of words, SVP should be arrested for um, facing Nigeria, APC candidates. And then for forming militia group, Tinubu should be nabbed, PDP <laughs> candidates. Oh, gosh. All right. Service Chief's action saves MFLA from arrest at airports. This one is the banner headline on Daily Sun. Service Chief's action saves MFLA from arrest at airports. Uh, with the writer there, we never stormed CBN headquarters for arrest. This one is coming from the DSS. He has resumed work. APES Bank says that security agency gives his resignation as condition to stay action. What is going on? The Senate wants CBS governor to tender documents on ways and means before approving his, its budget. Okay. And then other stories coming from the same paper. That's the Daily Sun. House to dismantle structures impoverishing Nigerians. Nigeria's inflation Eases to 21.34%, records first drop in 11 months, says MBS. 25 million Nigerians at risk of hunger in 2023. The report is coming from FAO. IPOB rejects to lose those shorty over, I mean, offer for Nnam Dekano tax Anambra government to compare federal government to obey cut order. Okay, that's Anambra governor to compel federal government to obey cut order on his release. Okay, Imo government to Ugochinere, we have no hand in your misery. Hmm. Olu of worry, social, I mean, stool crisis, only of Ife broker space. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, that's all we have for you coming from the Daily Sun. Um, we may need to take a break here and then uh, come back to round off. Uh, let's look at the final papers now. Okay, that's the uh, two more papers that we have left. That's the Guardian newspaper and the, Nas the new National Star. From the Guardian newspaper, subsidy, that's banner headline there, subsidy, stop 100% fuel importation, labor charges government. Subsidy, stop 100% fuel importation, labor charges government. Let's look at the writers. Local refineries is way out, says Pengasin. And then government using subsidy to blindfold masses, says Okon. Declare state of emergency. Declare state of emergency probe on subsidy, says Omo Ijiade. And then labor to resist presidential candidates calling for 
removal, says NLC. Labor to resist presidential candidates calling for removal. That's removal of oil subsidy. And this one is coming from NLC. Down here, Atiku will be fought by leadership, restate plans to salvage Nigeria. Okay, the new national star. That's the last paper for today. Atiku Tinubu at war over SPV scam, Jagaban army. A whole lot of things playing out. Okay, the um, <laughs> the riders there arrest prosecutor Atiku now. APC charges anti graft agencies. Jagaban army, a militia group, <laughs> treasonable act, PDP. KMO issues 72 hours ultimate into EFCC, ICPC, CCB to arrest, prosecute PDP candidates. Oh, wow. Federal government begins minimum wage review. Let's take a respite from all this war. And then Mbazurike Amechi Committee urges federal government eastern states to immortalize late statesman. I will dismantle structures holding Nigeria captive, says will be at Chatham House. Okay, MFLA not arrested, says DSCC resumes duty after annual leave. Nigeria's inflation rates will have seen that stop scaring us. And then uh, disquieting a bony PDP as INEC delays governors, NAS candidates. Okay, and that's coming from the, I mean, it's a cut order. And I think this is a very serious case <laughs> coming from a bony state. But maybe by tomorrow, we'll see how that one plays out. Well, that's all I have for you today. Sorry, there's no guest joining me today. By tomorrow, we're going to make it up to you, okay? God bless you.